Dr. Raj, what can you tell us about contraceptives? Contraceptives is a wide um, subject matter. Um, first of all, the most common use of contraceptive is the condom. So everybody knows the condom. Now remember, a condom goes on the penis. It's not 100% safe and it doesn't cut, cover all of the area when you're having sex. For example, some condoms might be too small and it only reach three quarter way on the penis. So there's still an exposed area on the penis and you have the entire pelvic area that is exposed. So if the person has an STD, like for example, bottles and whatnot, it could, with the abrasion when you're having sex, you can get infected. So it's not 100% safe. Also for pregnancy, Unless you use a spermicide condom, that is 100% safe. If you use other condoms and the condom is filled with sperm and it comes out of the condom, or the condom slips out while you're having sex because it's too large or you lose the erection while you're in the vagina, sperm can go into the vagina. And if there's no spermicide, you can get pregnant from that. So it's not 100% safe, but it's one of the safest form of contraceptive. Secondly, for women, you have something called a pill. You can go to a doctor, he or she will recommend you to use a certain type of pill that's going to prevent pregnancy. But the first month of using the pill, make sure you use protection like a condom because you're not protected as yet. It's only after one month of being in your system, then you are protected by it. Of course, it helps to regulate your period and it helps with polycystic ovaries. Thirdly, there are injections that you can take that can prevent pregnancy over a period of time. So you can discuss this with your doctor. He can inject you. He can insert something into your arm that also prevents pregnancy. It's an insert. It's there for a period of time. There are also something called the IUD that you insert in the vagina. There is the, the cap that you can also put in the vagina. Those things prevent pregnancy. Spermicide. Spermicide is something that you squirt into the vagina, either in a foam or, or cream, and that is a spermicide. It means it kills sperm. So there are many ways you can protect yourself. One of the ways you don't protect yourself is using the morning after pill. The morning after pill is not a contraceptive. It's for when you make a mistake, someone in ejaculated inside of you, you are a victim of rape, then you can use the morning after pill and you should only use it once. If you use the morning after pill consistently as a form of contraceptive, you're going to cause harm to yourself and you will not be able to get pregnant later on. So you have to be very careful of how you use the morning after pill and what you do. So I hope that answers your question when it comes to contraception. But please talk to your doctor. Make sure he or she recommends something that is best suited for you. Sometimes the, con the contraceptive that you're using may not be suitable for you. You may have a breakout or you may have an allergic reaction to it and they will have to change that product. But that's the way you should go about using contraceptive.